on November 24, 2025, Sector Module Number 5, the third module of the vacuum vessel and the very first built in Europe, was ready to be installed into the tokamak pit. But such an operation doesn't begin with a lift. Its preparations started days earlier. The maintenance team and the crane's operation team, we do the uh, pre-checks. So basically what we do is check uh, greasings, uh, we check uh, alignments, we check uh, sensors, uh, we check uh, ropes, uh, we discharge some variators, some variable speed drives in the cranes. It deserves uh, to do uh, in order to eliminate uh, uh, electromagnetic uh, disturbance. Um, then we do uh, the, uh, what we call the RASRAX. This is an acronym, but it's a calibration of the hooks. So basically we align all the sensors monitoring the, uh, the positioning of the hooks and the cranes uh, on the same uh, basis, calibration. So you can see uh, behind me um, at the end of the crane hole, so the two cranes with the four hooks, so below the, the, the girders. So these uh, four hooks will take this predator beam, the dual crane heavy lifting beam, uh, at each corner. And then after, at the center of this predator beam, will be attached the rest of the, the rigging to be mounted on the sector module 5 to be able to lift on Monday the Sector Module 5 to the pit. At 6 o'clock in the morning, the operation began. For the next 24 hours, the teams worked under constant pressure. Every movement had to be perfect, and all of it rested in the hands of the crane operator. We uh, have a uh, grand maximum 30 to 50 mm to be able to extra the charge in east and west. Euh, ce qui est très, euh, très compliqué parce que chaque mouvement euh, est calculé, euh, anticipé et surtout, euh, comme je le répète, c'est la sécurité Pré euh, en, pri en priorité euh, parce que ces charges-là euh, ne doivent toucher, ne doivent rien toucher. Donc nous, au début, on commence en millimètres, donc c'est millimètre par millimètre. Euh, ensuite, on passe différentes vitesses pour atteindre le 40100, c'est une norme. 1400, effectivement, euh, au bout de nos doigts, euh, ça peut paraître lourd, mais effectivement, avec beaucoup, de, avec beaucoup de professionnalisme et de sécurité, on y arrive. Après, on est entouré d'une équipe. La métrologie qui nous dit, euh, surtout avec les ingénieurs qui nous, donnent, euh, qui nous donnent le top et qui nous donnent les coordonnées, la métrologie qui, elle, par contre, nous fait des stops pour voir si la charge, elle, n'a pas bougé. Et aussi, on est en contact avec la maintenance du pont euh, réel qui, euh, qui justement, euh, nous aide dans ce défi. We have installed on the sector a, an array of uh, reflectors. Okay, they are like a, like a mirror, which they will reflect the signal of the tracker and the total station. And based on the readings, we we will know the actual position of the of the sector. After we know as well uh, our reference, which is the pit. So we will know the relationship between the pit and the sector. And based on that, we will be able to guide the mechanical team to, to make the, the sector match the mechanical position that, they, that we aim for. By 5 o'clock the next morning, Sector Module 5 was nearly in its final position. It's the achievement of uh, a teamwork and team with uh, the lifting teams from uh, uh, SMSA, the contractor, IO, uh, construction teams, assembly teams, um, the teams that I supervised for the crane operation and the crane maintenance. Uh, yeah, it is like a, a, new, uh, a new baby uh, in the nest. A long night ended with quiet relief and another significant step forward for ITER. <laughs>